Hi, my name's Pete Sanderson. I'm owner and skipper of Perseverance 2 here at Bridlington. I started fishing when I was actually at school. I used to go with my dad. Uh, my dad wanted good health and when I was younger I thought it was a good idea to make sure he was all right, right and give him a bit of a pull out and uh, obviously I instantly fell in love with the job watching the sun come up on the morning. We were salmon fishing at the time and seeing salmon straight and that, I mean it's, it's something you never forget and uh, I progressed from there. I went into the trawling industry, bombed about on a few boats until I found a comfortable crew that I was happy with and we changed over to potting and I spelt tw spent 12 happy years working for the same boss until I took the plunge, bought a boat of my own and uh, we just went on from there. I met James and uh, together we built up uh, what we'd like to call a successful business that we're proud of. I think that there's been a lot of bad press. I think that uh, the British media have got a lot to answer for. Obviously the Brexit issues. I think that people who uh, look at coming into the industry feel that the industry's coming to an end, especially with the latest sea spiracy saga. Uh, it, it couldn't be further from the truth. The shellfish industry, it's sustainable. It's going from strength to strength. Uh, we're in the business of looking after our stocks not pillaging the sea, so all the media rubbish that people are hearing, I believe it might have put them off. One bit of advice I would give is if you're in a, you're at school, you're not academic, you may have a teacher that you don't gel with, and you've got a teacher telling you that if you don't get your grades, you're not going to go anywhere in life. I had that, friends of mine have had that, and they've come to sea, and within a year or so, they've learnt the ropes, they've got up onto full share, and they're probably earning more than that said teacher. We were running off to sea and uh, just, just in our wake I saw 10 or 15 pilot whales, uh, got a few nice photographs to show the wife and the kids. We had porpoises jumping out the water, seals around us, you know, we were watching the guillemots and the gannets and the razorbills all bound for Bempton Cliffs for the summer, ready to start their mating season. You know, what, what other job can you see things like that? Personally, I think this campaign's great. Uh, it's, that's, that's why I was willing to talk about it. I get quite nervous on camera, but I feel it's important that definitely given the latest media and, you know, the Farage and the Brexit and everything, I think, you know, young'uns that live locally need to understand what there is here. You know, it's, it's the jewel in the crown of the uh, lobster industry for the UK. Being a fisherman for me, it's not just a job. It's, it's not just a way of life. It's, it's everything really. You know, I, I find myself on days off looking at the sky and looking at the weather and the conditions and as you get a bit older you notice things like you know you start to see jackdaws in the spring and that means that fishing's going to pick up soon and you have all of these little little things that you use and you, you use them to your ability and this is what I say it's not just a job or, or a career it's it's everything I, I can be laid in bed on an evening and see a full moon and think right well I know what the tide's doing tomorrow whether I'm at sea or not it's just, it's just natural, and that's what I love about it. You're, you're on a boat, you're in an area where man shouldn't really be, and you've created something or bought something that keeps you safe in that environment, and you're doing what you love. You know, you have bad weather days, you have days where you think, what the hell are we doing? But you know, uh, when them lads, or myself included, are stood in the pub bragging about the job, it's all just the bad weather that we hate that we brag about. It's just, it's just a strange career, it, it really is. You, you take the rough with the smooth. You even like the rough sometimes, but when it's smooth and everything's going perfect, there's nothing finer. You could go get a job and be on an hourly pay or a salary, but where's the excitement in that? What, what about when you have a great big dollop landing and you think, wow, I've smashed it this week and we can't just pay the bills, we can party hard and I can spoil the missus and the kids and what have you, maybe get me send some new threads and go out and enjoy myself and it's all because of the efforts that you've put in and the rewards that you've earned. And it's all from earning, from a, a you know, it's a manual job, you don't think it's going to pay the money it is going to pay. You don't have to be academic to do this, you don't even have to be politically correct. You just have to turn up, do your job and get on with it and you can earn good money. Get away.